Today we shall be looking at hemodialysis. Hemodialysis is a renal replacement therapy that is important in removing waste, excess fluids, and toxins from the blood in patients with kidney failure. The key objectives that we achieve using hemodialysis is correction of fluid and electrolyte imbalances, removal of nitrogenous waste, management of acid-based disorders, and a control of blood pressure. Indications for hemodialysis include acidosis, electrolyte imbalances, intoxication, overload of fluids, and uremia. Some other severe indications for hemodialysis are a glomerular filtration rate of less than 10 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meters squared, symptoms of uremia, severe fluid overload, and intractable hypertension. A hemodialysis machine functions as an artificial kidney. Some of the main components of this hemodialysis machine include a dialyzer, a blood pump, a dialyzed pump, heparin pump, monitors, and air detectors. You can have a look at this image for you to locate each of these components. In the dialysis circuit unit, we have a number of components including a dialyzer, which is a semi-permeable membrane that filters the blood, dialyze it, which is a custom electrolyte solution that we use in dialysis, the tubing, which include arterial and venous lines, a blood pump, that pumps approximately 300 to 500 ml of blood per minute and an ultrafiltration system. We have three common vascular access types, an atrioventricular fistula, which is usually the preferred route with low complications, an atriovenous graft, where we use a synthetic graft, However, this method has a higher infection risk. And lastly, we have a central venous catheter that we use in temporary cases, temporary cases, and it's associated with a high risk of infections. The hemodialysis procedure has three basic steps, the pre-dialysis, dialysis procedure itself, and post-dialysis procedure. In pre-dialysis, we assess the patient's vital signs, we assess the labs, the weight of the patient, and all the hemodynamic parameters. And during the procedure, we monitor the vital signs, we monitor the flow of the blood through the dialysis machine, and assess for any complications that could arise from the procedure. After the procedure is done, we reassess the patient, we check for the site of vascular access for any bleeding, Some of the complications associated with hemodialysis include hypotension or low blood pressure, muscle cramps, dialysis disequilibrium syndrome, infection, anemia, and sometimes amyloidosis. Some of the nursing and clinical considerations that we put in place in patients undergoing hemodialysis include the monitoring of fluid status, assessment of the potency of the venous access, educating the patients about the fistula care, maintaining asepsis, adjusting the medication timing, and dietary management to 